Moving on to part five. Ah, interesting. Impro, improvisation one. Now, part five, I have deliberately invented an improvisation model using single finger only. Part six is going to be octaves. However, part five, single finger only. You can change the notation and the rhythm of what you play. <laughs> choose it is improvisation but remember improvisation is 90 percent perspiration nine percent frustration and one percent inspiration sorry to break the news however let's work with this model for part five improvisation the notation here you're going to need is g b flat c e flat f sharp F, E flat, B flat, C. And the model lasts four bars and then it's repeated. So four into 12 is three. So we play this model that lasts four bars three times. You with me? How's your arithmetic and mathematics? Quite soon, it will improve greatly. Two, three, Four. You can see I've played those four bars twice and here it comes, the same notation in the right hand for a third time whilst we hit bar nine. And the left hand is about to play in the key of G. Two, three, four. concludes part five, our first improvisation verse. We now move on to part six, octaves and improvisation. So we're pushing ourselves physically here, playing octaves, just like part five, you can change the notation or the rhythm. <laughs> as you see fit but remember those percentages about improvisation inspiration and mainly perspiration with some frustration so here is my octaves model for part six the notation i'm going to use are octaves of g f sharp f e flat c b flat g b flat c e flat b flat <laughs> B natural and C. Let me model it slowly. Once again, four bar phrases played three times equals 12. Two, three, four. Oh, I almost forgot. Please pay special attention to the final bar of these 12 because we're about to go into part seven and a break. This is exciting because the break is just like part one and the intro. So have a very, very careful look as I slow things down in bars 11 and 12 of this model. Watch the coordination and the notation, especially in the left hand in bars 11 and 12 because as i said i'm gonna go back and play something that sounds like the introduction that's to come now part six in its entirety modeled you heard it and saw it here first two three four <laughs> Ah, a 
I've played that four bar model twice. That means eight bars. So we're now going to continue from bar nine in G. And don't forget, once we get to bars 11 and 12, I'm going to play super slowly for you to decipher and deconstruct what we're playing as we enter part seven and the break. Two, three, four. And the next time I touch the piano, we will be in part seven.